Hello again. Because I'm one of those old-fashioned 19th century style liberals who think that everything should be permitted unless something is actually harmful to other people, I was appalled to see that the man who made a cardboard model of Grenfell Tower and burned it at a Guy Fawkes party was given a suspended prison sentence. This was on the grounds that his actions were grossly offensive and because he shared a film clip of his action on the internet via WhatsApp and it was this which brought him within reach of the law. Was anybody harmed by the man's actions? No, of course not. Was he threatening anybody? No, he wasn't. Did he damage anybody's property or was he likely to cause any damage? Again, no. Was his film offensive? Of course it was. But is that sufficient reason to send a man to prison? Absolutely not. The only reason that this ended the way that it has done is because many of the people who died in Grenfell Tower were immigrants. Viewers might be aware that this man had already been tried for this supposed offence and acquitted. That should have been the end of it, of course. At one time, an acquittal was the end of the matter in, in a court case in this country. And it would have been considered against all ideas of fair play to haul a man back to court again for the same offence after a two-day trial had already ended in acquittal. But there, where black people and racism are concerned, every other principle must, of course, give way. I am bound to say that I find what this man did horribly tacky, and if I had been present at a bonfire night gathering where this had happened, I would have walked out. However, this does not mean that it should be an imprisonable offence to make jokes about death and disaster. I can remember awful jokes going around at the time of the Aberfan disaster in 1966. Here's one I remember. What's black and eats children? A coal tip. Should relating that joke on the internet render me liable to be sent to prison? I don't think so. It is the supposedly racial aspect of the Grenfell Tower fire which made it such a sensitive topic and letting race and ethnicity get involved in a thing like that seems to me to work against the principles of justice and unbiased laws.